Congressman has stopped. That say that three times really fast. I can do it. You, you've been in training. We're yeah. glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you. It, it is great to be in Knox County. A lot of you probably saw that big red bus out there. This is the very first stop for that Trump, Governor Lee, Marshall Blackburn, uh, Speaker Sexton, Lieutenant Governor McNally bus. Starts here, ends up in my area in West. By the way, we are, we are red in West Tennessee, uh, like, like our shirt. I've got to tell you, and Mr. Speaker, I think you offered to trade one of your Justins for Tlaib or Omar. I don't know where we're gonna, I don't know we're gonna take that off. It'll be a two for one. Tim, you want that or no? Uh, he says no. Let me say this, we, we're a red state. This is a red county, it's a red district, but we can't take anything for granted. The day that we get complacent, we take things for granted is the day we're at. In my opinion, you know what's happening in the country. I think for Tim and me to stay in the majority, Trump wins, needs to win. That means we win the Senate. That means we keep our majority in the House and roll it. And so we're all working for the same thing. We want Donald Trump to win. We want to flip the Senate. We want to keep our majority and even expand it in the House. I don't know how many of y'all got to see the Reagan movie. Who, who saw the Reagan movie? I, by the way, if you, if you haven't seen it, go see it. If you saw it, go see it again. Ronald Reagan, Dennis Quaid did a great job in that movie. Ronald Reagan talked about freedom one time. I, I've, I've got this quote, I'd like to read it to you because I, I don't think you can hear it enough and I can't say it enough. He was talking about freedom and Reagan said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream it must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same, or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States when men were free. We can't take for granted anything that we do, anything that we work for, and that's why it's so important for everybody to go vote. And I can challenge you to do one thing, pick up the phone, the email, text, and get 10 people and make sure they cast their vote. Don't leave anything on the table. You know that this is the most important election of your lifetime, and we're gonna work hard. We're gonna drive that bus for two weeks across the state to take that message out. May God bless you all. May God bless the United States of America. Thank you.